Hey, Davey. Uh, what was uh, Stephen able to do today, and, and what's the plan now moving forward? Yeah, he threw a 31-pitch uh, bullpen today. Um, threw the ball well. He's scheduled to throw again on um, a regular bullpen on Wednesday. Uh, barring we have no setbacks, so he'll, he'll, uh, he'll throw another bullpen on Wednesday. And I know the other day you said you weren't necessarily sure if he would need to face live hitters uh, before he'd pitch in a game. As this stretches out a little longer, is that more of a concern? Um, no. I mean, I think, you know, he threw the ball well today. We'll see how he, uh, see how he bounces back tomorrow. Um, we'll have another conversation with him tomorrow and we'll see what he wants to do. I mean, we, if, he, if he wants to, we can simulate a game on Wednesday for him here where he can face a couple of batters, but that's, that'll be totally his call. Right now he says he feels really good, so uh, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Todd Davis, NBC Sports Washington. Hey, Davey. Um, when you see all the young guys out here on the field, does your mind wander a bit about what things could look like down the road? I know you're very locked in on day-to-day -day duties, but when you see Luis and Seth Romero and guys like that kind of filling out the entire field, do you ever think about that stuff? Oh, yeah. I see, you know, I mean, it makes me feel pretty good about the future of our organization. Um, we got some pretty good young players. Uh, really, you know, we saw Antuna today play some shortstop, made a nice play. We see, we seen uh, Louis Garcia in spring training, and now here um, Seth, um, who came is coming off of Tommy John surgery, was through the ball well. So I mean, um, you start seeing these guys and seeing what what things could look like. Um, things are bright, you know. Things are bright here, and I'm excited to have these kids around. Excited to get to see them, you know, now uh, play a little bit uh, with us. So you know, they get the chance to come here and see the stadium and you know we always tell them hey this is you could be playing here one day you know and, and it, it makes them feel good and uh on a completely separate note did you have any chats today with Doolittle about how yesterday went and what needs to be done going forward no I, I you know I didn't talk to him I know he went out to the other day again and threw again um I asked him how he was doing he said you know he feels fine uh you know he's working on some stuff so um we gotta we gotta let him work through this um, he understands where he's at. Um, you know, I'm going to encourage him to continue to put, keep pushing, uh, like I always do, and, and we'll see. Um, you know, like I said, I think you know, it's just a matter of time before his velo gets back to where he needs to be. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Davey. Uh, with Steven, is each step a matter of how he tells you that he feels, or is it the medical staff and training staff assessing what they see from him? It's both. Um, you know, a lot of times I like to communicate, obviously, with the player, but I, I also uh, communicate a lot with uh, the training staff. Um, we want to make sure that everything's in sync uh, and that nothing goes awry with the mechanics. And today he looked good. We had a, you know, Paul was out there, um, training staff was out there, we watched him, and he threw the ball really well, and everything was, was as normal. You know, he didn't make any adjustments, you know, compensate for his, his, uh, wrist so he looked good so you know um and he let it go today which is nice so we'll see again like i said we'll see how he feels tomorrow and i'll uh, we'll get him back out there uh, wednesday and go from there also um with some of these young guys that you have up from the alternate training site how does that work how much time do they get advance notice what's that whole like back and forth process like yeah we we told them you know when when, when we knew we had these days off uh you know randy nor is running the um the camp down there constantly communicate with them about what's what's going to go on, what transpires. We put guys on on a set schedule, uh, the pitchers, so we know, you know, um, what days they pitch, what days they don't pitch. So we knew the guys that uh, we wanted, you know, we wanted up here. It was their day to pitch, uh, and it worked out well. Um, but we, we talked about this way in advance, and every week we talk about, you know, uh, what needs to happen down there to keep guys ready and keep them fresh. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Hey, Davey. So, uh, how he gets him at bats today? Uh, could, could you see him returning this week, or how, how's he feeling? Who? Howie? Howie? Yeah. Yeah, Howie. No, he's good. Yeah, he felt good. Um, yeah, he definitely, um, he definitely be back in there uh, this week. Cool. Uh, this and this is from yesterday. Just 
slipped my mind to ask, but you guys tried out a five-man infield and also saw you and Paul go out to talk to Kyle Finnegan before you simulated that situation. What are, what's, like, the message to a pitcher then? I guess what were you guys talking through on the mound there? Yeah, we, I just want – I wanted to let him understand what we were doing and what we were trying to do. And I wanted to hear from him what – what he thought the pitches against righties and lefties, the best pitches he, he throws to get a ground ball. And uh, we had a great conversation. And as you can tell, you know, he got some good, you know, he's got some ground balls for us. And he might, he's one of the guys that might have to pitch in that situation. So we wanted him to understand what we were trying to do um, and put the guys out that we felt like that, that was going to be out there to, you know, play uh, the infield. So, you know, I, I liked it, you know, um, Obviously, we you know, we try to pick off with him, and it was well. Uh, we put a pick on from the catcher to the third baseman. That went well. So, uh, you know, I want to make sure we incorporate these things, especially with this tenth inning um, rule change as well. Also, saw like you'll you'll play the infielders maybe to pull, but also maybe then shift the outfield for a guy to go opposite field. Um, yeah, is that a line? Look, will that change how the pitcher has to approach the batter at all, or do you kind of say you pitch, we're going to fix behind you? I don't know. How do you approach that? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we want them to get out, you know. Um, obviously, you know, we prefer for him to strike the guy out, you know, if possible. But we want to, we want to do the best we can to, to get the hitter, you know, to hit into the ground ball shift, you know, um, regardless of how we do it. Uh, so, and then the outfield is, you know, we, we ran a lot of data on, on, on hitters. You know, this is based on hitters. Um, and what we've seen most is like a lot of hitters, you know, will pull ground balls and hit a lot of fly balls the other way. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we, we're, we're giving up something, hopefully to get something better in return. Cool. Thanks for explaining. I appreciate it. Mark Zuckerman, MassesForce.com. Have you guys decided uh, who will take Will Harris's roster spot? Uh, no, not yet. Um, we'll wait till Tuesday. And just in a broader sense, he's a guy who you came into the season expecting to have a very significant role uh, in late innings um, for however long he's out. How do you see those late innings uh, playing out? And who, who do you think might um, – you might be calling on for some of those situations? Yeah, you know, for, you know right now it's, you know, it's going to be all, be all be based on matchups. Um, but like you know, I said, Rainey was throwing, been throwing the ball well. You know, Javi's throwing the ball well. Um, Freeman has been throwing the ball well, match, trying to match him up with left, left, a lot of lefties. Um, this three batter minimum thing is, is it's, you know, it's something that we really are looking at, especially you know matchups late in games. So um, at any given time, you know, you'll see anybody if we think they match up well, you know, pitch the seventh, eighth, uh, the ninth inning. You know, right now, Huddy, you know, Huddy to me is the guy. Um, he's done well. He's done it before. Um, I like him in the ninth inning. Has the, the three batter thing come up at all? Has that has that altered the way you might do anything late in the game? It hasn't seemed necessarily like there's been that's affected a whole lot, but maybe in your planning for it, that is a been more of a factor. No, in late innings, not so much. In the middle innings, yeah, you know, we, like I said, we try to find that block where we think, uh, you know, do a Freeman or or somebody like that has has a one or two lefties in there, um, and then you know also with with Harper. You know, matching Harper up with guys that we feel like he's, you know, we got the best matchup there. So, uh, late innings for me, you, you know, you pick your two or three guys that you want to pitch late in the game uh, before the game starts, and and hopefully, you know, you're you're ahead at that point. And you can use those guys. Jessica Camarado, LB.com. Just wanted to follow up from yesterday about uh, Thames and also everything good with Juan after yesterday. We saw him today. Yeah, Thames is still, you know, still dealing with a little, uh, little back stiffness. Um, he said he felt better today. But he's going to be day to day. I don't, I don't anticipate anything uh, happening with him. He's getting better, so hopefully he'll be ready to play on Tuesday. Um, Juan said he felt good. You know, he took a bunch of at bats today. Um, we'll see how we see see what happens uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're not really doing much of anything. They're just coming in on their own, uh, getting treatments. Uh, I know. He wants to run the bases a little bit, uh, so he'll get out there and run the bases. Maybe take some batting practice, um, but I want him—I want him hopefully to be ready for uh, this week. Thanks. Anything else for Davey? Todd Davis, NBC Sports, Washington. Hey, David. Um, 
do you think these four days have been beneficial to you guys? Obviously, you won two in a row after a bumpy start, did, but do you feel like this is a time to regroup? How have you viewed the, the last three days as well as tomorrow? Yeah, you know, we, we, I, I could be honest, we'd much rather have been playing. Um, you know, we started, the bats started coming around, we started playing. Uh, the last two games started playing uh, fairly well. Um, you know, and then we, have, we got this little low, but, you know, we, we've, we've done everything we possibly can to, to get ready. You know, we played today, we played six innings. Yesterday we played um, five innings. So we're trying to keep these guys, uh, keep them going, you know, keep their uh, bats going. So, um, you know, it's tough not, not having that, that actual that game speed, that extra little adrenaline playing, playing other teams. But um, the boys are doing good. I mean, they, they, they have a lot of energy every day. They know that we, you know, we're going to play Tuesday, so we need to get ready to play Tuesday. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But I think that we're in a good, we're in a good place. You know, our pitchers that need to throw through. Um, so that was good. Our bullpen guys got to throw a lot yesterday. Huddy threw today uh, a bullpen, so he's ready to go. So, uh, you know, Rainy, said Rainy needed the days off, so he got days off. Uh, he threw a little light today, and he's ready to go. So we'll see uh, come Tuesday. And Hudson has told us in various terms that he dislikes being a closer. Uh, have, have you ever had someone who is your closer but didn't necessarily want to be the closer? Usually it's the opposite. Everybody's saying, I could be the closer. Um, just put me out there. Yeah, you know, it's funny. So we had a conversation last year when we got him here, and he came to my office, and he said, can I talk to you? And I go, yeah, you can always talk to me. And he says, um, I, I don't I don't like closing games. I don't like pitching in the ninth inning. And I said, oh, wow, that's funny. I said, guess what? You're going to pitch in the ninth inning. I said, it'll be just like any other inning. I said, all you do or you get one out, and then you get the second out, then you get the third out. And don't worry about what inning it is. And he started laughing and just looked at me and goes, okay. <laughs> and now, you know, I tell him all the time, I said, hey, you, you, you're going to have, you know, I'll, I'll try to let him know, hey, you're going to close the game today. You're going to close the game today. Or, if, you know, I might need you in the eighth inning today. But. Um, just go out there. I told him, I said, hey, all you can do is go out there and, 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 and do your best and, and uh, you know, let it ride. I mean, that's, uh, you know, and he's been doing that and he's been great at it. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Davey, to follow up on that, what is it that you see in Hudson, even if he doesn't want to see it in himself, but what do you see in Hudson that you're like, you are a good, you're a good ninth inning guy, you're a good closer? Uh, you know, if you could, if you, you see him, he's, you know, one, he's, He's one of those uh, quiet, intense guys. You know, he doesn't so, show a whole lot of emotion, um, even though he threw, he fired his glove at 150 miles an hour when we won the World Series. Uh, but other than that, he just goes out there and just, you know, he does his job, and he mixes his pitches up really well. He knows how to pitch up in the zone. Um, so he does, you know, he's just he's out there to get out, and that's how I, I want him to, to act. You know, it's, I told him, I said, hey, you just go out there and just get out, get out the best you can. Uh, he's done that. You know, when we got him. He was one of the premier pitchers of of, uh, of coming in with you know with guys on base and getting big outs. So I told him, I said, you close the games, you, you're basically you know for me you're starting the inning fresh with nobody on base. So uh, think of it like that.